Really well played, James. A really impressive first win of the season there. Yeah, no, no, it's important to get off to a good start at home. Um, especially after like a disappointing result the other night at Leicester. We want to be winning them games and we need to be winning them games, but there was lots of positives in the performance at Leicester. And um, the manager asked us to be more clinical in front of goal and more ruthless. And it's always nice when the very next game you go and score four at home, keep a clean sheet and kind of say, well, there it is. So um, positive, positive first day at home, yeah. I remember being, I can't remember at what point it was last season we were chatting and you were saying, we just want to have one of those games at home where you win comfortably and you don't have to worry. Yeah. It, was, it was nice today to have that atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And... Um, yeah, the, the credit to the crowd as well. They got right behind us, even when the goals were going in. And sometimes when you get to 2-0, 3-0, you feel um, even the crowd can sometimes mellow a little bit because you're comfortable in the game, but it didn't today. And, and then Nicky van der Ven goes on a big <laughs> long run and ends up getting a fourth. So, um, no, a, a convincing win and one we're really happy with. The man, Ange Postacoglu's style is attacking, scoring goals. He, he doesn't like when we sit off. If we go 2-0 up and start to sit back and try and manage the game, he gets really annoyed about that, actually. So um, it's nice to go and, and, and score four today and have, a, and have a comfortable win. Matt, as you mentioned, Mickey, I mean, just talk us through his, his performance today. Oh, he's brilliant, yeah. Um, with, the, with the aggressive line we play, he's so important. It's so important for us. His pe I know we always talk about it, but his pace is just ridiculous. So it really helps us play that high, aggressive line. And it's no coincidence that we get so many offsides. There's so many times. I know it gets delayed and it looks like we've conceded a chance but it gets pulled back and it's offside that's because of the work that the, the back four do with the aggressive line sometimes you're going to get um, teams that are creative and they have a good player so they, they maybe have a wild time run behind or play a nice pass where they're onside and that's where Mickey uses his pace to get us out of trouble but um, a brilliant player yeah Fantastic. James how much do you look at these individual numbers obviously a big win today there's two assists in two for you how much are you clocking these numbers as well on a personal level um yeah, they're always nice. I, I'm driven to, to to play as well as I can, and, and being a creative midfielder, that that kind of correlates with getting goals and assists. Um, I felt like a real threat today and against Leicester, which is good, and I feel I feel in a good place. When you, when you feel dangerous and feel like a threat, we started the game so well on the left side, me, Wilson and Destiny, we had a real good dynamic going, and we got the balance perfect of sometimes leaving Wilson 1v1, sometimes me running the half space and we had some dangerous crosses where we could have scored, could have had a couple of more assists. But um, no, the, the, the goals and assists are important for a player like myself because that's what I'm in the team to do. That's what the club bought me for. So it's nice to get the return on the chances and that I create. Yeah. Came in game three last year, didn't it? Your first goal of the season? Oh, wow. I think it was Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth. Bournemouth game three. Yeah. yeah. Next week, away again. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Potentially a goal yeah. away at Newcastle? Yeah, let's, let's hope so. I mean, as boring as I'm going to sound, I'm sorry, but it is about the team. And if I'm if I'm playing well, creating, and whether the goals come or not, if we're winning um, and I feel good and I feel sharp and I feel a threat, then then I'm a happy man. Just really, finally, you feel sharp, you feel good in your body at the moment, you feel ready to go out and perform? Yeah, yeah. No, I feel great. As I've, as I've spoken a few times now, the disappointment of missing the Euros meant the silver lining of that was I've got a full summer to rest, recover, really get my ankle back perfect, um, work hard, come back fit with a hunger. And uh, now I feel really good at the minute, so hopefully that can continue and I can keep contributing to help our team win, yeah.